This video is called Setting Your Field of View, and it's the fourth video for Chapter 10 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. Okay, field of view is a concept that most people probably aren't familiar with. If you're, um, let's say, an architect, you're probably familiar with it. If you're a photographer, you're definitely familiar with it. It has to do with how much you can see when you're looking out of your eyeballs. Okay, watch this. I'm going to get the camera tool, use position camera. Let's look down here and be looking over here. Now, you notice how I'm here inside this store, but I can't see very much. I'm kind of just looking around. What I'd like to be able to see it a bit more of a wide angle view. If I were actually standing in this store, standing where I am this far back, I'd probably be able to see a whole lot more than I can see now. And that's because people have peripheral vision. Um, in SketchUp, you don't really have peripheral vision, so you have to widen your field of view, be able to see a wider view than you normally can uh, with the default settings in SketchUp. Now, if I change to the Zoom tool and then show you the lower right corner of the screen here, do you see where it says Field of View 35 degrees? That's the default field of view in SketchUp. The way to change your field of view is to go up to the Zoom tool, just like this, and then type in the field of view that you'd rather have. So watch this. You have to watch, don't watch the bottom corner of the screen here. Listen to my voice, but watch the view that's actually happening here in the modeling window. I'm going to type in 45 and enter. And you see how we could see more there? Watch, I'm going to type in 60. 60 and enter. And we're seeing even more right now. Let's type in, I don't know, let's get crazy. 90 and enter. Now we can see a whole lot more. If I type in 20, we're not going to see very much at all. It's like we're zoomed way on in, okay? Let's try something really crazy, like 180. If I can see 180 degrees, that's basically everything from this side of me to that side of me, which is why this room looks so long. But this is how they do camera tricks and things in, with, with movies. Uh, it's basically by putting different lenses on a camera, and that's what field of view basically is. It's like putting a different lens on SketchUp so you can see more or less of what's going on. Now. Again, if I type in 35, that's the default field of view in SketchUp. But when you're inside something, you really want to be able to see more than that. So the field of view that I like to use is 60. 6, 0, enter. Now I can see a whole lot more. If I right-click here and switch to look around, and I look around, it's a lot more like what I would actually see if I were standing inside this shop uh, in real life. And that's basically how field of view works. Um, I created sort of a, an illustration here to try and um, help you understand what this looks like. So I'm just going to click through these scene tabs at the top. Now if you download the uh, SketchUp model um, that goes along with this video, which you can do from the website at sketchupfordummies.com, look in chapter 10, uh, you'll be able to click through these these little scene tabs as well and see what I'm doing. But watch. I'm going to click on cones to show you these cones. Now these are the same cones that I showed in the book, but I'm afraid it wasn't all that clear what I was showing. Each of these cones represents a different field of view, okay? So this stick represents you, or me in this case. The end of the stick right there represents our eyes, and the cones represent how much you can see. They're each a different, very precise field of view. The smallest one is a 30 degree field of view, the next one is a 60 degree field of view, and the biggest one is a 90 degree field of view. And the idea is, if I'm standing there and my eyes are at that stick, that cone is everything I'm going to be able to see. Now I set up these scenes to show you exactly what I mean. Watch. I'm going to click on 30 degrees up here. And SketchUp's going to hiccup for a second and then it's going to zoom us in. Now you can sort of see the circle that's drawn here on the screen. Do you see that circle? That's because basically we're inside this cone and so that's the end of the cone that we're looking at. But you get the idea. Since this screen is actually wider than it is tall, the maximum uh, size or height that this screen can be is the size of that um, circle. Now, you don't really have to understand what's going on, but the, here's the premise. If I click on 30 degrees, I'm there. If I click on 60 degrees, now we're looking at the 60 degree circle because basically we're inside the 60 degree cone. And again, the screen is wider than it is tall, which is why we see more to the sides of that circle than we do on the top. But basically that circle is exactly at the top and bottom of the screen. Finally, if I click on the 90 degree tab, that's a 90 degree thing. So hopefully for, for some people, being able to see those cones will actually help to illustrate what field of view is. Okay, let me just revert to a 
45 degree field of view, which is the one I like to use when I'm actually modeling, or let's say a 60 degree field of view, which is the one that I like to use when I'm inside something. And uh, I don't know, go back over to that 60 degree right here to be looking at what's going on, just like that. Okay, that is the end of setting your field of view, which is the fourth video for chapter 10 of Google SketchUp for Dummies.